All right, hello everybody. This is the VSW Zoom call. We know you're all dying for some content, so we figured we would give you this right here. This is gonna be the VSW job evaluation over Zoom. Uh, now it's come to my attention, some of you think I abuse my power, which is false. So we are gonna air this to the public to prove that I'm doing nothing wrong, which I'm not. So, I mean, let's just, you know the wrestlers here. We have Madman Paul Ritchie. We have Present. Emma Ross, we have Percy Taylor, and Coco Loco. What's up, guys? So uh, let's just get these interviews. Uh, let's just get these interviews going. Percy Taylor, uh, you were scheduled to face Thunder Ross at our last event, Celtic Clash, and you no showed. Does that mean you're just going to be uh, like inconsistent from this point forward? Nicholas, you do understand that it's the coronavirus, the biggest pandemic since probably the bubonic plague at this point. And I, I firmly believe that I would have caught that. And you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm using my napkin on the keyboard right now. It's really just a disgusting whole phenomenon. So personally, I think I'm going to uh, sit it out until this is all over. But I can assure you, as soon as we get back, I'm going to give Thunder Ross the ass-kicking and mustache-shaving of a lifetime. Ooh, you shots to... fired! Shots fired! <laughs> you say you want to shave his mustache? That's right, Nick. I'm going to shave his mustache right off his face. Why? Well, he thinks his mustache, mustache match. 20, yeah, must, mustache match. He thinks his mustache is better than mine. I say no, my mustache is bigger than better than bigger and better than yours. But uh, I think that's kind of up to the fans. If you want to put a Twitter poll or something out there, but I mean, I'm obviously correct. Well, in fairness, Percy, you have a history of walking out on this company, uh, namely me, during our tag match. So uh, should I ex expect an apology anytime soon? An apology for what? For leaving me in the ring alone. What do you mean? I don't recall. I got suplexed. You I, left me. That was all your fault. My, my part of the match was over. What? What I, do you I mean your part involved, was over? I was not involved in that. You paid me to be there for that certain amount of time to do the certain tasks, and then I was done. Percy, are you aware yeah. that I am in control of your fate in this company? Nicholas Bernard. It's, it sounds like you're renting Percy Taylor by the hour. Yeah, I'm not a gigolo. I don't stay for an extra hour after I'm paid. <laughs> Percy Taylor, I am, I am having it up to here with you right now. You, you walk out on me, you walk out in your match with Thunder Ross. Like, what is, what's, ne what's next? What's next for you? I, well, I don't know what to expect. I'll anymore. tell you what's next, Nick. I'm going to leave right now. Why? What? Oh! <laughs> he left the job evaluation. This is unreal. I guess you're not a good Zoom host, Nick Bernard. You can't even keep your interviewees in the interview. You know what? That's, we're moving on. Okay, well, I'm a little hot after Percy Taylor just misbehaved and made a total fool out of me. But you know what? I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. We got Mini Mac and Grunge Lord finally joined on. So say hello, everybody. Hello. All right. And, like, I was told that I should ask how you guys are holding up mentally. <laughs> um, I'm all right. You know, I'm just playing my grunge music. Right, and... Shut up. Okay. All right. Thunder Ross. So <laughs> I challenge you to a match, a mustache match. What do you, how do you respond to that? He, he had some bold words for you. He, he's absolutely disgusting. He keeps on running away from me. So, I mean, I'm just going to beat his ass and, sh and shave that disgusting mustache. So. All right. And as we saw at Celtic class, you suffered your first loss. So can this be, should we expect this to affect your future performances? Will this affect your mindset going into matches from now on? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. I, I, first of all, I didn't have my manager, Earl. Um, I didn't have my boys there. I didn't have the crowd. So I wasn't, I wasn't in the environment I needed to be in. And third of all, just in time, nailed me in the head with a chair. Like, like how, am I, how am I supposed to win that? So I, I'm not worried. I'm going to be champ soon. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I can't win matches without your uh, your little buddy. All right. Uh, anyway, Grunge Lord, uh, can, I, can I expect you? Can I expect you to be using uh, quarantine as an excuse to not bathe? You damn right, man. It's been a long time, like a long time. And as we see, you've also grown a mustache. Are you wanting to get into this mustache shaving action? Yeah. Um. I guess so. You know, the mustache was almost accidental. You know, I I burnt off my beard and. In an accidental grunge accident, you know, you know how it goes. What did you do? What, did, what happened? <laughs> what did I? What did you? It do? may or may not have involved some sort of uh, insane picking 
I tried to pick my guitar with my teeth and I ripped off my beard. You ripped it T-M-I. off. TMI. <laughs> TMI. That's inappropriate, Grudge Lord. No one wants to hear about your sexual endeavors. <laughs> hey, Grudge Lord, I have to say, that... <laughs> you've, you've improved as a competitor. You've been getting a little bit more uh, wins lately. So I have to say, I, I am Im- impressed with you and your performance. So good job. Yeah. Grunge Lord I'm, is the only I'm person on the I can smell I'm through the, on the screen. I'm getting I'm getting in there. I can smell him too, and that's Bernard why... Bernard is acknowledging my greatness. All right, Grunge Lord, never, I'm, never compliment Grunge Lord again. All right. Uh, Coco Loco, are you cold? Am I cold? Well, what type of question is that, Nick Bernard? I mean, you're, you're wearing a big fluffy hat and a sweater. I mean, you look cold. Well, I mean... I'm kind of, I'm from the Dominican Republic. I'm used to this 90 degree weather. I don't know what the 60 degree weather is. You know, you 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 uh you Americans, you know, you need to walk around in t-shirts. I, I need a sweatshirt, man. It's it's cold out here in 60. You know, Coco Loco, you're a tremendous competitor and all, but you've prior to uh, today, you've shown very erratic behavior at many BSW events, namely the award ceremony. So, do you want to apologize for your actions? Uh, do I want to apologize? Okay, well. To all my fans of VSW, I'm truly sorry that Nick Bernard has accused me of these allegations and tarnished my reputation. All right, Coco Coco Loco interrupted my match. He should be suspended indefinitely. I agree, Mini Mac. Mini Mac is on the right track. Coco Loco should be suspended, and he should have no chances at a title anytime soon. I mean, if you guys want to go one v one, you know, you know the outcomes have happened in the past. I mean, we can we can do it again. I it remember pinning you beneath the ladder, Coco Loco. <laughs> I remember that. I didn't see it. I saw nothing. It was only me. That brings up a point that I would like to discuss. Minnie Mac and Paul Ritchie, you've both taken on Coco Loco one-on-one in the past, and you both only beat him for the Bulldog title when you were both teaming up. So are you both inadequate as performers? Um, that's a very rude question, Nick Bernard. Are you inadequate as a president? Um, some might say yes. What is your opinion on the matter, Minnie Mac? I think he is. he should suspend Coco Loco. <laughs> He is plaguing this company. Um, I, I already stated that I agree with that. What do you think about Nick Bernard? Nick Bernard could be doing a better job running this company. Nick That's Bernard sure. stinks like fart. Nick Bernard go. stinks like fart. <laughs> I'm going to let that slide because I am a gracious uh, wrestling promoter and uh, I, will, I don't abuse my power like most wrestling promoters and I'm not going to do anything because I've never abused my power once during my tenure with this company. The fact is yeah. we're the Bulldog champion and we invite anyone who is brave <clears throat> enough to come and test that. Isn't that right, Minnie Mac? For sure. Well, Paul Ritchie, uh, <laughs> I, I have heard from some competitors that they feel uh, your recent uh, acts of violence and random assaults against them make it an unsafe work environment. How do you respond to that? Um, blow it out your ass and deal with HR. That's what I have to say. Okay. Uh, Mini Mac, you have been very inconsistent as a performer, to say the least. Your win-loss record is near 50-50. Um, why are you worth keeping around? The matches I do lose are all interrupted. I would be winning every single match if Coco Loco didn't interrupt my match or my matches weren't interrupted. All right, still blaming uh, all your problems on Coco Loco, I see. Anyway, well, I have good news for you guys. I'm not going to fire any of you. But Woo! I would like to go down not the that list. I was ever worried. <laughs> I'd like to go down the list of you guys because if I do have to fire someone, I would like to know who the rest of the company thinks. So, Paul Ritchie, if I have to fire someone from the company, who should be fired? Coco Loco, indefinitely. Agreed. Wow, two for Coco yeah. Loco. Three for Coco Loco? Y- yeah. Stink like duty. Wow. Thunder Ross, that leaves you. 
Um, I'm going to say your mom. My mom hasn't worked for this company since last Damn month. Right. I laid her off already because she didn't want to work during the virus. So Can I change my answer? Oh, my God. For the company. Your mom? Two for your mom? <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess Thunder Ross didn't get the message. You know, the connection is very poor here. But uh, Coco Loco, uh, what's your answer? Um, the question is who I think should be fired. Yeah. Uh, uh, without a doubt, it has to be. <laughs> Johnny Nutcracker. That dude should never come back. Well, I think that's you, already be done. It's already been done, if I'm correct. Yeah, luckily for you, Coco, I fired Nutcracker months ago before. Oh, thank Reckoning God. He was just too. Thank bad God. As a performer. Yes, Paul. I have to change my answer, Nick Bernard. Where is our world champion? You Don't you right. think the man carrying the title should be representing the company? Speaking of world champion, when am I getting my world champ match? I did beat I did beat a uh, Thunder Ross for the for the for a title shot. When is when is this happening? It will happen after I get uh -huh. my title shot because I'm more important. Well, the thing is, Coco Paul Ritchie is right. He has a right to a title match as well. He has been on a winning streak as of late, and that last man standing match with Katie Alexa was very impressive. So I'm going to give Paul Ritchie a title match, and you will face the winner of that match once it is over. Nick Bernard is a great leader. See? <laughs> Stop Wouldn't you agree, so Minnie Mac? Either. Wouldn't you agree? As long as we have the world championship, Nick Bernard could do anything he wants. <laughs> anything he wants. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to blush. Thank you. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to fire any of your suggestions because I have already chosen who I'm going to fire. It is the cameraman that Evan Failure attacked out of nowhere back at freeze fest too because oh um, thank god he's threatening to sue me so i would rather not deal with him right now so yeah, i fired he, he was capturing too many of my wrong angles i'm glad you're firing him yeah he is no longer with the company and will no longer be ruining our events as evan failure told us evan failure living up to his name not even showing up what um, angle would you be referring to coco logo <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my backside, you know, that angle is, you know, it's fresh. And <laughs> the best angle. Understood. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was the VSW job evaluations. As you can see, we are doing this for you, the VSW fans who are dying for content right now. So we hope you enjoyed uh, this little session between us. And we'll try to get back to you soon.